New tonight, a second state agency is investigating Pathway Family Center. The Division of Mental Health and Addiction is looking into a complaint filed by the father of a teen treated inside the center. Our story about Pathway last week has sparked more than 1,100 comments on our website alone. Tonight, we take a closer look at Pathway and addiction treatment in Indianapolis. Each morning, cars pull up to Pathway Family Center in Castleton. Kids get out to start their day of rehabilitation. One is 17-year-old Jamal from Chesterton. He's been at Pathway for nine months. You know, I started using drugs. Uh, I really didn't feel accepted. I didn't really, you know, like myself. I didn't really know a lot about myself. I was a follower. Jamal is one of 37 kids at the Indianapolis Addiction Treatment Center. Um, I feel that this program has made me a lot, you know, more in touch with myself. Pathway arranged for us to talk to Jamal's mom and two other parents who swear by the center's ability to save their children from destructive addictions. Since he came to Pathway, he has just, it's amazing. He has changed. He's a young man. Uh, totally turned around night and day girl now. She's social. She has uh, goals. Pathway CEO says they have a great track record. You know, we're, we're open book here. We're not, we don't have anything to hide. But not everyone agrees. Mark West is a non-custodial parent of a 17-year-old inside Pathway. In a formal complaint filed with the Attorney General's office and the state's Division of Mental Health and Addiction, West says Pathway's methods gravely concern him. I'm a parent who has a kid who has problems and who acted badly and his behavior was not what it should have been. Does he need to be isolated? No. In his formal complaint, West alleges his son was isolated. Sharon Pierce is the former director of child welfare in the state of Indiana. There's no silver bullet. She says most addiction treatment groups have a 50 to 60 percent success rate, leaving some people unhappy. Still, she believes all deserve close watch. Sometimes, you know, the conscience of a community will have a tolerance for certain services, but not for others. The complaint being investigated by two state agencies alleges substandard housing and care, kids sleeping in locked rooms with windows bolted shut and no lights. The complaint alleges West's 17-year-old son missed a complete year of school. It alleges sleep deprivation and isolation. But Pathway denies the allegations and sticks by the program. So do some parents and kids. But that isn't stopping Mark West, whose son has been in Pathway for a year. He's a father who now communicates with his son via this sign on a nearby dumpster, telling him never give up. The State Division of Mental Health and Addiction is reviewing the complaint now to determine if there are any violations.